Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to briefly introduce you to Phase Shift Transformer. So now, what are the Phase Shift Transformers? Well, Phase Shifting Transformers provide direct monitoring of the current flow of power grids. In single or parallel transmission lines, the true power flow, which we call P, and the reactive power flow, which we call Q, can be quite varied. Now, the reactive power flow, or Q, is varied by adding or subtracting at the sending end a fraction of the in the phase voltage, where P differs by applying a small fraction of the quadrature voltage, which is plus or minus 90 degrees to the same end. And this is achieved by the use of the, the phase shifting transformer. Now, the basic theory of achieving a phase shift is based on the relation between one phase section and another phase. We use delta connected winding to achieve the added delta voltage of 90 degrees, and this gives actually the easiest solution to achieve this phase shift. The phase shifting transformer is not only boost of reliability and efficiency of grids by implementing or blocking loads, but also help grid operators get the most out of the infrastructure. They protect the lines, make the grids more stable, and reduce losses within our transmission system. And they're probably the most reliable and cost-effective power flow control solutions out there right now. The phase shifting transformer adds a circulating current into the network that either decreases the load current in the line where the phase shifting transformer is located, which when they're operating in buck mode, or in, on another hand, it could increase the low current or raise the low current when operating in what it's called the boost mode. Now, phase shift transformers can be used by operators to satisfy local power demand levels in urban areas reliably. They can monitor and control the high volume of electricity trade between various countries or network operators. They can use it to balance the rising quantities of renewable resource infrastructure loads, as well as they can also be used to stabilize the power flow between power generation centers and load centers over the long distance of transmission lines. Now, if you are interested in learning more about electrical transformers uh, or gaining a more fundamental uh, and comprehensive knowledge base of electrical transformers, I recommend you to sign up to my Udemy course called Electrical Transformers Fundamentals. Now, this is a comprehensive video course where you can learn all about electrical transformers that are essential in working within the industry, from basic knowledge to how to procure and install transformers. So if you're interested, please check out the link in the video description. Now, in a sense, the phase shift is accomplished by the interconnection of two phases of star connected windings across one of the delta booster winding phases. The magnitude and polarity of the phase shift may be modified by changing the on-load tap, which in turn determines the circulating current within the system. The two active components may be placed in a single tank in lower power rating scenarios. Nevertheless, the two active components, which is the exciter and the booster transformers, will be installed in separate tanks for bigger phase shifting transformer applications. But nevertheless, the two active components will be also connected together. The connection between the, these two components, the exciter and the booster transformer, is conducted at maximum system voltage and must usually be conducted inside oil filled trunking in order to protect against the possibility of damaging the internal short circuit. Phase shifting transformers work between systems that have the same sequence for both phase and frequency. The voltages can vary by both phase angle and magnitude. The unit design needs to be separated into two sections, the one with an optimal loss-free transformer that accomplishes the phase shift and the other with the one-to-one -one turn ratio and an equal impedance. Because of the power system's predominantly inductive character, an active flow of power between source and load must be achieved with a phase lag between the terminals. There are two key arrangements or configurations 
for the use of uh, phase shifting transformers. The first one being the power, uh, it can be used with the power transfer between parallel running transmission systems in which uh, one of the system contains the phase shift transformer. And the other key arrangement would be there is going to be a single transmission line containing the phase shift transformer that links two otherwise separate power system. In reality, um, phase shift transformers can be built uh, for in different uh, 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 designs and different uh, composition. However, though, the design key considerations uh, that would be affected are the following, which is number one being the uh, requirement for the output power and phase shift angle, number two being the system short circuit capability, Number three is the rated voltage that you need. And lastly, the fourth design factor will be the performance requirements for your transformer tap changer. So now let's conclude this short video of phase shifting transformers in going over the different designs. Now in general, there are three types of designs of phase shifting transformers. Uh, they are the single core, the two core, and the quadrature booster. So let's start off with the simplest one. With the single core design, simplicity and cost are benefits of this particular architecture. But however though, there are problems with this particular design as well. And one of the problems is that the, the tap changer is usually in this case linked to the system and are generally vulnerable to over voltages that are directly directed by vo uh, faults. The voltage per the tap changer step and the current is determined by the specifications and does not always allow the tap changer to make optimum economical choice in this case. Now, the power, uh, the, the phase shifting transformer short circuit impedance usually varies and they can be from maximum value to zero. And therefore, the phase shifting transformer cannot be anticipated as to how it will lead to um, its effectiveness in reducing the fault currents within the system. Now, with the two core design, this design has um, in is a series unit uh, 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 containing a series unit and a central unit. The two core uh, phase shifting transformer can be designed into a single tank in small rating applications. Uh, whereas in larger ratings or more high voltage uh, scenarios, these phase shifting transformer would need a two tank configuration. Now, the advantage of a two core design is the flexibility in selecting the step voltage and the regulating winding current. This can be tailored according to the tap changer voltage and current ratings. Because the tap changer have limited current and step voltage per phase as well as limited switching capacity they are the main limiting features for uh, maximum possible uh, transformer rating now for even higher ratings more than uh, 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 the more than one low tap changer per phase may be needed for these type of transformers However, though, uh, fortunately, the amount of tap changer insulation is very much independent of the system voltage and therefore can be kept low. The short circuit impedance describes the sum of the main and series transformer impedances. Now, as the impedance of the series unit is constant and independent of the phase angle, the device can be actually built to be self-protect. So the impedance in this case, uh, the, or, or the impedance difference with the, with the phase shift angle in this case, can be kept small if the main unit impedance is remained low. So in this case, this is actually um, a, a very good for this particular two core design. Now, lastly, let's talk about the quadrature booster transformers. Now, the quadrature booster transformers are variation of the auto-regulating transformer with a phase shifting transformer in combination. The phase shifting transformer is supplied from the operation side of the power transformer, which may be uh, uh, the single or the two core configuration as I've mentioned before. 
The output voltage in this case can be adjusted by this method in a relation of four quadrants, which by both and or magnitude and phase. A phase angle is established across a quadrature booster by means of a voltage generated from the supply that is first shifted by 90 degrees. It is this induced angle which affects power flow through the specified circuits. Thus, quadrature boosters provide a means to ease overloads on highly loaded circuits and rerouting power into more suitable pathways. Lastly, tap changers on the shunt unit for these quadrature booster transformers allows monitoring the magnitude of the quadrature portion and also the magnitude of the phase shift through the booster. The flow can either be increased via bootstrapping or decreased via the method of buck tapping on the circuit with the quadrature booster.